Well, hey everyone, it's Scott again with newportraitbiz.com. And what I want to do today is show you how we created this Christmas scene with this little Santa. All right. And again, we're going to be using a digital background and prop. This one here uh, we created called Storybook Christmas for our Digital Creations Club. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you how I cut out the little Santa and uh, how I merged it into our digital background here. All right, so with that being said, let's get started. Here's the original image. This was shot on a, a white background. You can tell that it's going to be a little bit more difficult because we have white on white. And I usually uh, recommend people doing the opposite of this, but in some cases it's okay depending on how white the background is compared to this. But I also want to show you this because sometimes this may happen and you want to be able to extract the image. So let's go ahead and uh, go through all of the steps to do this. It's not that difficult. First thing I'm going to do is uh, select the quick selection tool. And I'm going to use my bracket keys to make it a little bit larger. And then I'm just going to go inside of the image uh, just like this here. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect, and you're going to see why in a minute. And this is the tricky part right here is where you want to take your time going around here. Make sure you don't go too wide and let it kind of catch up and see where it's going to, uh, to find that outline. And we can always clean this up later, and I'll, I'll show you how we're going to do that. Uh, down here, it's not going to be as important because we're not going to be using the presence and stuff, but just for the sake of doing this, I'm going to outline the entire area just to show you um, how we can do this. Now, this here, you can see it didn't get all of that, so I just click in here to add to the selection. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's just pull it up. You can see up in here now that uh, it looks like it's a little wide. So let me just shrink this down by using my bracket keys. And I'm going to now hold the option or the alt key just to minus this down. And I'm going to basically take away from that particular uh, extraction or the, uh, the marching ants that some people call it or the selection, whatever you want to call it. Up here you can see I probably got to add it back. So I'm just going to click in here and see where this... Uh, you know, finds the area. Now over here, you can see I probably want to minus that again. So I'm option alt on my keyboard. I'm on a Mac, but it's probably alt if you're on a Windows and then just click it on there. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect because we can clean this up and I'm going to show you how. If we look around the image right now, uh, down in here, this isn't going to matter, but I will add to it just to show you for the sake of this lesson. All right. So now that we have that all pretty much a rough outline of that, let me uh, pull this over here, make sure that everything's in view for you. Uh, what I'm going to do is, number one, double click on this to make sure that it's not locked as the background. Then from there, I'm going to go down here and add a layer mask. Okay, And instantly, we've cut out the image. Now, normally, you would want to come in here and then uh, probably uh, you know, put another background behind it to see what you've been missing. But I'm going to actually bring it into the image that I'm going to be working on. So this way here, I see how critical I have to be. Now, you can also notice in here that we're probably going to want to take this out as well. And we can always just knock that out or we can add to this layer mask here. And then what you'll want to do is add black to that. So you're going to want to go to your paint brush or your paint bucket. Um, in this case, we use the paint brush. Make sure it's on black. Make sure that my opacity is up all the way, my flow and all that stuff. And using the bracket keys again, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to go in here and just uh, color that in. It's only going to uh, add to the selection. Then we're going to deselect. So select, deselect. And now we have the extraction, at least the rough one. So now I'm just going to drag this and separate it from my nested uh, tabs up here. This is the uh, background that we're going to be putting it into. I'll bring that down a little bit for you so you can see. Let me try to bring this over. All right, so now what we're going to do is just drag this into our digital creation and then drop. And you can see that we have some of the white showing through, which is no big deal. I'm going to show you how we're going to fix that real easy. So now just take this and bring it into position. And I'm going to bring it down so the baby is down inside of this uh, wooden trench bowl. All right, and bring it down. Now you can see a lot of it's, uh, you know, out, you know, outside of the uh, the prop itself. It's not a big deal. Now you can see here too that this is the cover-up layer. So if I turn off the cover-up layer, you can see we have the baby there. If I turn it on, you can see we're going over top of that. So the layer 
uh, of the subject needs to be below. And that's why I have subject here. That's how it always is with all of our digital creations. Now, if you're not one of our club members and you're watching this, uh, you can head over to uh, newportraitbiz.com forward slash club and you can, uh, you can see all of uh, what we have to offer over there. All right, so now what I'm gonna wanna do is go back to my paintbrush, make sure that I'm on black on the foreground. So I'm just gonna click on that, make sure that I'm on black. And then what we have to do is make sure that we're on, we're on the layer mask. So just click on that. And then from here, we just add to that. All we're doing is painting black of the area that we want to erase. That's how a layer mask works. So you can see we're pretty good now. So now the cool thing about this layer mask, let me pull this up. You can see that we've got some white lines running around the image, okay? Now what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you're on the, the uh, mask and then go to your lasso tool and then you're just gonna make a real rough selection around the area, just like that, okay? Then what we're gonna do, making sure that we're on the layer mask, we're gonna go to filter and then blur and then Gaussian blur. And I usually like to be around 1.5 to 2.5. Let's just bring it to, well, 2.1, let's call it, and say okay. And now you can see you might notice it a little bit more. That's okay. Now we're going to go to image, and then we're going to go to adjustments, and then levels. You can use shortcuts for this. I'm doing this just because I know some people don't know all the shortcuts, making it uh, just easier for everyone. So then just take this slider, and then just start dragging it up, and you're going to see that the white is disappearing. Okay, it's disappearing from everything. Bring it all the way until you can't see the white anymore or that outline. And then just say okay, and then select, and then deselect. And you're pretty much almost done. So if you look around that image, you can see it's done a pretty good job of removing that. If I go back, let me step back, you can see that's how it was. Okay, and step forward, that's how it is. All right, just from that one tip. So that's how that works, all right? Now, you can, and this is kind of like a bonus little tip for you, you can crop this image in if you want to give it more of a close-up look, okay? So if you're happy with everything, you're gonna wanna flatten it down, okay? So go layer and then flatten, and now you have one, just one background layer, okay? And then go to your crop tool, and then select what size you want. I'm gonna do an eight inch by 10 inch, uh, portrait, okay, and then it's going to be 300 resolution is the DPI. And then just drag in here, and from there, I'm going to position it off to the side here, so this isn't dead center, giving more of the tree back there, and then you just hit return, and then instantly we've cropped the image. So that's our cropped image. So that was before, that was after. Now, some people like it cropped and some people like to see more of the scene. It's totally up to you and it's up to your clients, whoever you're working on an image for. But that's pretty much how you do it. Now, I haven't done any blending to this. You may need to add some blending techniques, which I've shown in other videos. And I also show a lot of that in my Digital Creations Club and in our Digital Background Secrets 3.0 course. So if you're interested in learning more about this or even downloading this particular digital creation, uh, our digital creations can be found over at newportraitbiz.com forward slash club. Or if you want to learn more techniques and extraction processes and blending techniques and all of that stuff, you can head over to digitalbackgroundsecrets.com. So that's it. That's going to wrap up this lesson. Once again, I'm Scott with newportraitbiz.com. If you wanted to check out more of what we have to offer, you can head over to newportraitbiz.com forward slash club or digitalbackgroundsecrets.com. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.